Hello, I am Lisa Marie Benz, and this is another edition of the Wedding Zone Internet TV show put on by the Perfect Wedding Guide. Now, brides, the purpose of this show is to help you, the bride, see what our advertisers do, such as Sunset Limos. Here's my ride. How great is that? And by the way, you want to check out everything we offer by going to perfectweddingguide.com. And brides, be sure to check out to see what everybody does by going to youtube.com slash PWG. TV shows and you can see what all of our advertisers do and be sure you check out all of our bridal shows so you can pre-register at pwgshows.com and you can come to all of our shows and see Sunset Limousines. By the way this is Jeff White the owner of Sunset Limousines and we're going to go inside and hear all about the limo industry and how you can get one for your special day. Okay, so now I'm inside Sunset Limos with Jeff White, the owner. Um, Jeff, so thank you so much for being a part of the Perfect Wedding Guide. We appreciate your business and you shuttling me all over Volusia County. I just love it. But let's talk a lot about um, some of the vehicles you offer, like your fleet of limousines. Well, right now you're in the Cadillac Escalade. This is one of our premier vehicles. Um, we have the Hummer Limo, which is a beautiful car too. It has uh, the mirrored ceiling similar to this, but a little bit more pattern to it. Uh, it has the hardwood floors in it. Uh, we have your regular stretch limos. Uh, some of them have the mirrored ceiling, some of them don't. Some of them have, they all have beautiful options in them with all your champagne glasses and your place to put your champagne and your coolers for your drinks and such like that. We keep them, them all stocked up with sodas and stuff for you. So you know, all you gotta do is bring your alcohol and you're ready to party. And it's so nice, might I add, just to have the luxury of having a, a limo pick you up, pick up all your friends, not have to worry about driving and drinking and going to your destination. It's just such a luxury. So um, now let's talk a little bit about your drivers. You're, they're all fully insured and everything? Oh yeah, we all our drivers are background checked, insured. Uh, almost all of them, except the ones who drive the smaller cars, are CDL licensed. Even, even some of them that drive the smaller cars are even. Um, but uh, yeah, we keep them all. And you take all credit cards? <coughs> we take all the majors. All the yes. majors, okay. I didn't, are there any minors? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> that, uh, I, like I, diners club. Diners club, yeah, I don't take diners club. I actually had somebody a couple years ago ask me if I did, and I said no. That's, that's like way off, way yeah. gone now. Yeah. Now, how far will you travel? Uh, pretty much is by the hour, so you know, as long as you you're paying the bill, we're we're going. So, like, um, if a bride and groom are um, need you out in Orlando, do you start the clock when you leave the office? Well, if we start in Orlando, we do charge the travel time to get to Orlando, and if we end in Orlando, we do charge the time to get back to our area, which we try to keep it as minimal as possible for them. Uh, we're not going to overcharge them. We're not going to charge them like five hours. Or anything. We're going to charge them maybe an hour, hour and a half for travel time if they went started way on the other side of Orlando. Okay. Yeah. And do you offer corporate rental rates for the big companies? And we have like a lot that? of corporate accounts in the area. Um, they use us on a regular basis, mostly during the week, and a lot of times they use our town car service, which is a great thing for when you got guests in town and stuff like that where you don't need a limo, but you do need transportation. We can bring in the town cars, or we even got like a Lincoln um, Navigator, which will handle a few more people, and if they have luggage and stuff, we can bring that in and move people around for just regular transportation. And that works out great, for, especially for corporate people who use this on a regular basis. Well, I just thought of a fabulous idea. You know how you don't want anyone coming to stay with you? No one likes guests at their house. Instead, have Jeff for Sunset Limos pick him up and take him to a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> right? Drop him off at the motel and say, your room is number. <laughs> the no-tell motel. <laughs> so now, what, um, what size of a limo do you recommend for most wedding parties? Well, most wedding parties are between six and eight people. We have a super stretch limousine that is beautiful for that. Um, since black is the newest one they use for limos for weddings nowadays, where white used to be 10 years ago. Um, and we've got a beautiful black new body style Lincoln super stretch. They call it a 10 passenger. It is, when you put 10 people in it, it does get tight. So we recommend eight is a maximum especially with the bride with her big gown on you've got to you know got to compensate for that where you know she doesn't want to be crowded okay so if a bride and groom has a special request for a tire are you able to compensate that with the um, driver 
Yeah, sometimes we they want just the driver in suit and tie, which is our normal attire. Other times we do in full tuxedo. Uh, other times they want their the vest or something to match what their their people are wearing, so it looks like he's part of the party. And other times they want him not to look like part of the party, which is it, which is the best way really for him to be you know, look like a chauffeur and them to look like the, the bridal party so they don't mistake the two of them. Because um, we are not part of the party, we're there to help the party go well. Right, right. And you are in full this is, limo this attire. This is a tuxedo <laughs> uh, with, with the, the regular tie. Uh, this is what we do on almost every every run we do. Or, or we do the uh, bow tie for weddings when they request. Okay, and I like it too how you um, you or the driver are always at the door. You open the door for the oh, yes. people we, that you're picking up, and we always open the door for them. You know, help them in and out to the ladies. Um, sometimes the gentlemen too. It depends on how much they've had to drink that night. <laughs> um, one of the features of this particular car, especially for weddings, is it does have what they call a bridal door, which is right behind me here, which is a large door. It keeps the bride away from the tires and stuff like that, so she doesn't scuff the dresses, um, which is the worst thing a bride could ever happen to her. Um, and uh, it's a it's a huge option when you're building a limo. And when I designed this car to have it built, uh, that was one of the things I had to have. Oh, you had this design. I designed this, helped design this one myself. Great. And we should talk about other features like uh, the DVD player. DVD, yeah. And then you also have the nice glasses here that are conveniently on nice racks so they don't rattle around and <laughs> fall over and stuff. And you got the ice box here. And an ice box there, and an ice box here, and an ice box there. We have plenty of places for drinks inside here, so there's more than enough room to, to bring it all the stuff you want. And another thing I like about riding in a limo is you don't have to wear a seat belt. That's so nice. You can really stretch out like this. Well, we do have seat belts in here if you if you feel like you, you want to wear it. Right. But, uh, it's it's up to your your choice. I'm almost surprised that they haven't passed that law yet, but I'm glad they haven't. Well I don't know how that would work, to be honest with you. I, I wouldn't be as comfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know when we do a lot of the, the schools and stuff like that, the kids have to wear the seat belts. And we do a lot of stuff for the schools, do a lot of charity work for the schools. Well, and just um, like the buses, you mm -hmm. know, same thing. You don't have to have a, a exactly. belt on the bus. Now, how would you like brides and grooms to reach you? Uh, usually through our website with a contact form is usually the best way. That way we can check all the information before they call, before we call them back, I should say. And that way we can see if it's available, what's available, and we have kind of a feel for what they're, they're looking for right up front so we can talk uh, educated to them about what, what their needs and so on. Great. And the phone number to reach you at is 386-761-0500? That's our main office line. Okay. And. Uh, and or, then, or they can have my, my direct line, my cell phone is 386-334-LIMO. Uh, uh, um, you can call me directly. That's 5466. No <laughs> yes, People don't like having to look at that. So Jeff's direct line is 386-334-5466. And, and your website is sunsetlimo4fl.com. And on your website, are brides and grooms able to like put in their reservation? There's, there's a contact form in there. They can put their, their dates and stuff in there, and we can take care of it right from that um, and contact them directly. But some people like personalized service, so they can call us directly too. And uh, there's almost always somebody around to answer the phone. Very seldom do we not answer. Great, great, great. Okay, and um, and you also provide you're available for all kinds of parties, even funerals. Yes. And funerals are now a party. <laughs> a celebration I, of life. I've had some, some wild funerals. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they're, they're not my most favorite, but uh, I've had some, some very fun funerals. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're interesting. Uh, bachelor, bachelorette parties are becoming huge too, especially bachelorette parties. The girls, they know how to party nowadays. <laughs> They do. They're not as tame as the guys think they are. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to tell that story. I, you know what, what happens in the limo has to stay in the limo. That's right. And that's why we like limos so much. And they get us to and from where we're going very safely. That's the best thing. Now, what about fuel prices? Are you... Well, we you are... Can we you are, incorporate that into the... We have started charging a fuel charge. We, we waited till just recently to start doing that. 
uh, but the prices have just gotten so bad that we've had to start charging a fuel charge. Well, and with this size of a vehicle, I would think, you know? Yes. My goodness. But well, it's only like 10%, so it's not, not going to kill you, and it's just barely enough to cover our cost on the fuel. Great. Um, because this one does get terrible gas mileage. And it's it, much cheaper than a DUI, from what I understand, have a, <laughs> running a limo for the night, and it'll spare you the embarrassment and humiliation. <laughs> Right. Yes, or loss of job or whatever else could <laughs> right. go with it. <laughs> right. So, um, well, thank you, Jeff, so much. Once again, this is Jeff White. He's the owner of Sunset Limousines, and you can reach him directly at 386-334-5466 or go to the website sunsetlimoflorida.com. F-Bell, yeah, I'm sorry. Sunset limo, it's short for Florida. <laughs> All right, and um, brides, have a great time planning your wedding. Make sure you get a limo driver such as Jeff, Sunset Limos, and cheers to your wedding. Bye-bye. Bye now.